So yeah, we're back here with another adventure with Holmes and Watson, and I cannot wait. I, I remember playing this vaguely back in the day. I feel like this game, did it come out on the PlayStation 3? Because I feel like that's remember I, I remember playing it. But either way, let's dive in. Hmm. In memory of the Ukrainian, Ukrainian Heavenly Sword. Oh, he Heavenly Hundred. <laughs> My brain just put in, in Heavenly Sword. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely where they start infusing a bit of, like, the Guy Ritchie Sherlock Holmes energy into it. And I think it works really well. Hell yeah. Oh, Mrs. Hudson. Oh, this game has Mycroft in it. I did not remember that. Hmm. Yeah, for some reason, I just put in Heavenly Sword. Maybe it's because I, I was just thinking about that game the other day. The Fate of Black Peter. So we have the deduction space icon indicates that some of your clues, blah, 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 blah. You can find gameplay or interface instructions. Okay. Let's do it. Ah, uh, Watson. It is really cool seeing the fidelity of these games, you know, pretty dramatically increase from one to one. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. God damn it, Holmes. Oh, no, no. Oh, cool. All right. So are these going to be like, is this a good tutorial for the kinds of action sequences that are going to play out later? All right. Take cover on the table. Okay, cool. Oh, great use of In the Hall of the Mountain King. Bum, bum. Yep. Get him. Get him. Oh, Holmes. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? <laughs> yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Well, yeah. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Were you? Blindfolded. Doing, doing, doing some Watson, great aiming. Quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Ooh, yeah. This is this is a, a little bit of the the homes from Guy Ritchie slash uh, a little bit from Sherlock. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it no, is. No, but he one, can Mr. hear you. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known hmm. as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor. Oh, probably. okay. What happened here? Oh, just some oh, shooting Mr. practice. Holmes, how could you? Oh no! It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges. You know, you could take up cycling or something. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. Well, I mean, he's I always kind of half ten. half foot out. <laughs> Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? Well, I kind of. That Watson is right. So, is this the first time they changed the voice actor for Watson? Now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey. Yes, fill us in the deets. Born deets. in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Mm. Okay. He retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near yeah, Forest Road. Yeah, it's pretty Road impressive. The, the, the visuals have it taken even a big jump from the last years, one. And where he was found dead yesterday. Okay. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this oh. crime is so mysterious that I oh. prefer you to join me down So there. mysterious, Give you me say? Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? Oh, no. They robbed a powder reserve. Hmm. I'll meet you at Woodman's See, these little throwaway lines sometimes I wind back Mrs. into the Hudson main story. Here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. Yeah, this is definitely I a new voice actor for, for Watson. All right, so we'll go investigate. Okay, so we can press this to open up the case book. Yep, this is pretty standard. Definitely, ooh, more refined. So Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Documents, we don't have any yet. Locations, Woodman's Lee, which is Black Peter's place. Yep. Oh, so select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe and join Lestrade at Woodman's Lee. So, can we switch to first person? Oh, is this all third person now? 
Interesting. Okay, uh, well, we should know that this is our room. So, our personal- aha! Ooh! Gonna be real fancy! Okay, so... Farmer suit? Bandit suit? Oh, great. Oh, a light suit! Gray, um, a little too dour. Oh, the brown's nice. Black, very nice. Casual. Now let's go with the uh, the light suit. I like that. Hell yeah. Very nice. Looking very handsome, Holmes. Anything over here? Interesting. So this is the first that we've played in a long, long time that there isn't a first person perspective to it unless i'm just missing the control for it but i can't seem to ah okay so we also have like a like almost like an investigator's eye in the previous games this kind of manifested with the like hint button watson's room okay yeah is there anything ah there is a first person mode okay good Aha! Oh, this feels right. These games feel like they should be played in first person. They got letters. I keep my post. Now, does it gray it out like in previous games? No, interesting. But we do have this mode. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what this is all about. See you later, Watson. You go along to Peter Kerr's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made. Oh, I do, I do miss old Watson, but I'm assuming either he wasn't available or, you know, maybe the, the, the project was maybe outside of his scope at the moment. Okay, well, let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, this is cool. Little transition scene. So here we can look at our case details while we're loading into the next environment. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, he achieved great success whale hunting and then moved here. Hmm. Anything else? Profile souvenirs, echoes, character portraits. So it seems like these are different. So it seems like there may be five people we're going to meet. Ah, see, we, we will be met in a future case and will be met in current case. Yeah. So interesting, there are multiple cases in this game. I vaguely remember that, but it has been such a long time. Yeah, and then we can just choose to load into the next area. Yeah, they're really kind of flexing their, their character model here. They did a good job. Oh yeah, their, their, their camera work is definitely Mr. getting a lot better. I'm over here. Come on. Ah, uh, Lestrade. Okay, so join Lestrade at Women's League. We're here. Hmm, ooh, already seeing stuff. Okay, so what is this? Interesting, so yeah, we're getting like, like, Holmes vision, basically. Okay, cool. So we can examine the footprints. These okay. footprints appear to be quite large. Mm hmm Okay. Interesting. Still don't know if they're Black Peters yet, though. Okay, and I'm assuming you're gonna say we can't get in here until Lestrade. Holmes. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, it is not open yet. Okay. Oh yeah, there, there's gonna be a lot to investigate, isn't there? So what is this? This is like person of interest, maybe? Yeah, because the the icon is now a person with a question mark over them. Interesting. All right, well, let's go have a word with Lestrade. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him Okay, here so like he, he does have a wife here. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I... detective. <laughs> no doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, I mean, uh, Holmes is, is pretty famous at this point, my right? My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Okay. Ooh, so what is this square icon? Is that like in investigate the person? Okay, well, let's ask what, about what Madam, happened. Can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I mm -hmm. heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He was okay. screaming all the time when he was drunk. Hmm. 
Yeah, not very helpful. Where, when was the body hit found? Do you remember? If you didn't check on when you heard the scream, when did body? you find him? In the morning, at around seven, seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open. Hmm. But I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. Hmm. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and. Okay, so it, it could be like a full twelve hours. Okay. So, ooh, now we can ask about the evening before the murder. Can you please tell me? It's what almost like a dialogue tree, but not murder. quite. Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Okay. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Rough. Okay, well, did he have any visitors while, uh, you know, you were in the other part? Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, it seemed pretty really solitary here. We lived quite an isolated life here. Yeah, it seems retirement. like it. Okay, well, what is this? Ah, okay, so forwards and backwards, and can we move the S? Okay, so we can investigate this. All right, so what are we looking at here? So we can go backwards and forwards. Okay, we have a, a cameo here. Oh, and a rosary. So Catholic. Oh, what do we got here? Crested. Oh, oh, it's the bird on there. I was like, what are you looking at, Holmes? Uh, we got some gardening gloves. What else we got here? Hmm. And a birdhouse. Interesting. Everything will become easier. You so this is like a tutorial for a that. Loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Hmm. Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Oh. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, Wait, how, do you, how do you know that she was in Plymouth? Oh, uh, ooh. Let's see, choose the evidence that confronts the statement of a character in order to continue investigation. How do you know about Plymouth? Interesting. So, hmm. Profile of the victim, unidentified footprints. I'm gonna say pilgrimage, maybe, or maybe we don't have the right evidence. Maybe, like we we reacted correctly, but we don't have what we can to call her on it. Can we see? Oh, browse evidence. Okay. Ah, so this is what they are. Okay. Judith Carey is a woman with an uneasy life due to her unhappy marriage. Blah blah blah. blah. Ah, she is a very religious Christian Catholic woman who undertook a St. James Way pilgrimage when she was younger. Okay, so that is the piece of evidence then. You are cool. All right, that makes more the sense. The Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. Gotcha. The route for the okay, so we're going to actually have to Spain's think about this stuff before we, we call I people out. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there. And you married him soon. Man, afterwards. Holmes, you're you're going that is deep on this. What happened, Mr. Holmes, how extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Okay, so we got our, our chat in with her. So she's a gardener, moved from Plymouth. Oh, this is a, like a really cute little cottage. Can we go inside? That's a big no. So is there ah, there is a sprint button. Ooh, good. I was like, there's got to be something that gets us a little bit faster around here. All right, we have shirt, skirt, or like underskirt, dress, vest. Nothing in here. All right, well, let's go. Let's go and check out the cottage. What do you got to say, buddy? Gary's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. All right, then let's do our touching. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday mm. to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper okay. with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Assuming no, no one could no, get in no, without no, the, no. the 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 use of the door. Bestrad? It seems to me that someone has tried ah. to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Well, isn't that interesting? Why would someone want to force the door after they've already committed the crime? Hmm. Door, door lock. What else you got there, Holmes? Hmm. 
Okay, so we can look closer. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's been four scratches. These scratches are yeah. fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the mm -hmm. door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Okay, so now these are new. mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. So not a Perhaps good he did not have lock the right pick. Tool. Hmm. Interesting. Well, okay. Well, can you at least open it up for us? Yeah, they're they're big on their new cutscenes now. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's pretty gnarly. To die. Yeah. What is that? A harpoon? Yeah, he got a harpoon through the chest. Not a great way to go. All right, what do we got in here? So it seems also this is a good or a good practice to develop is examining everything first before trying to talk to people in case that might help with the the conversation a size eight okay i guess we can compare those to the ones in the garden right Ooh, what is this uh, navigation, no navigation tools instruments Nothing yeah he was an old sailor that this all checks out all right so it looks like yeah it looks like a third harpoon is missing from the rack harpoons for hunting whales. Ah, okay, cool. So this is going to highlight green when we've gotten everything for it. Good to know. Mm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 mm -hmm. to 1884. Okay. Peter Carey was her captain. Yeah, seems... Oh, object of interest. What, what do you see there, Holmes? Hmm. Damn. That's a big mouth. All right, what do we got on the table here? Two drink glasses. Someone drank from this glass recently. Yeah. What do we got here? Tobacco pouch. Uh, I'm assuming the that's his. Yep. PC have been mm -hmm. Peter burned. Carey. A sailor's work. Very, very crude. Uh, can we open it? Yeah, okay. We can actually open it. All right, what's inside? Uh, tobacco. Hmm. Oh, this aroma is familiar. Oh, this but is cool. To recognize it. I must construct my associations in one picture. Oh, that's cool. So we actually have to like create the image in his mind to remind him where. Oh, and like there's literally like you know a leaf here, the pipe. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So can I? Oh, I can move this. Backwards and forwards. So this, I think, needs to go back here. Yeah, I think it lines up like this. Looks like it, doesn't it? And then this, I think, has to go down. Hmm, and then I'm trying to get the lines to line up nice and neat. Maybe it's on the other side. Maybe it is this side. Uh, this doesn't really line up nice and uh, oh, a little, a little bit. It definitely looks like we're we're trying to reconstruct a ship. That's what it looks like. Is there anything I can do with this? No, it's just the pipe and the leaf. Okay, so it definitely seems like this is the side we want to try to do the reconstruction on, right? And then you. Yeah, that's the weird part, is that it doesn't look like it really lines up super nice. Like there. Oh, uh, it's getting better, it's getting better. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, we're, we're getting there. Now, I think we just need to move the pipe, maybe? Come on. There we go. There, yes. perfect. This is a coarse tobacco, quite mm. strong and very popular among okay. sailors. So, I guess the question is, what does that give us, other than the fact that we know that a sailor was using the the pipe? Rough. But a sailor's drink. Th this seems it like it all. That Captain yeah, Harry was enjoying a drink. This all belongs to to death. to Black Peter. Okay, nothing super uh, exciting about that. What do we got down here, though? Hmm, a notebook. Interesting. J -H -N, 
are probably the initials of the hmm. owner of this notebook. So maybe the murderer dropped the notebook. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook ah, was not it lying fell on the floor into prior the blood. To the crime, but it was dropped yes. into the pool of yes. blood okay. after the death of Peter Carey. Ah, uh, well, let's open this thing. See what's on the inside. Oh, these these abbreviations mean hmm. something. But what? Very curious. All right, well, what else we got here? We also have a dagger. Oh, interesting. What do we have here? Oh, right. I remember this very vaguely. We actually have to build, like, it's kind of like the deduction board from the previous games. Yeah. So yeah, here are the clues. And then if we make deductions, then it adds nodes to this web, if I remember correctly. So, okay, let's grab this first. Sea knife. Hmm, rotate the object in any direction to examine it thoroughly. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a super remarkable knife. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead hmm. body. So, again, the blood himself with this knife, but he is from the succeed. pool of blood, so it fell in after he died. So he was probably holding it to defend himself. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blood yeah. was immense. No kidding. Who the hell could do this? Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. I mean, I feel like this rules the wife out because this requires an incredible amount of strength. And she did not look like an especially strong person. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite Yeah, strong. he looks... I mean, he, he had a hard life of sailing, so, you know, you'd think that that would create a, a, a pretty physically fit person. Peter Carey was impaled mm -hmm. to the wall by a whaling harpoon. You know, you don't miss anything, Holmes. You don't miss anything. Interesting. Okay, so what can we also see here? Seems like there's some object of interest that it's trying to... Ah, shelf. Hmm. A suspiciously empty space. Okay, yeah, something was here. This place is not covered with dust. Yeah. Like the rest of the shelf. What is that, a book or a box? Ah, a small chest. Box or a small hmm. chest. Perhaps. This is really cool. I forgot about this. You know, like basically getting like Holmes vision. The tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's. Yeah, matches. makes sense. Yep, yeah, that checks out. Okay. We have a map here. Don't want to leave anything unexamined. Finland, Russia, Germany. Dundee. Hmm. Oh, so this is where they probably. Came from and went to Hammerfest on their whale hunt. Map. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What else? So, what do we have here now? We have pinned to the wall, break in attempts. Several unsuccessful attempts were made to break in, according to the scratches around the lock. A leather notebook that the initials JHN. Yeah. So, it was dropped by the murderer. So, maybe they came by here to try to claim it? Okay. So, draw a clear picture of the crime by forming your deductions from the combination of clues. Track down the guilty party. So, make an ambush. An ambush. Oh, okay. So, we're assuming that they're going to come back again for the notebook. Okay. Huh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the mm -hmm. door to gain entry. Okay. So, we need to try to work on it. Man, that's rough. Uh, anything else on the wall here? Anything else in the room? Doesn't look like it. So let's do a little investigation out into this area. Again, with the, the footprints. So we found these. Can we now compare them against his? Yeah, Carrie's boot. Um, drag down. Okay. Oh, it's, it looks like these a little small. Yeah. Footprints. So whoever came here had even bigger shoes than... You know, Carrie, who's already a pretty big dude. Evidence required. Interesting. Can we find anything out here? Hmm. Um. Is there anything else that we can do with the clues? Pin to the wall, break in attempts? No. Okay, cool. So it actually lets us know when there isn't a match between the clues. So we're not just endlessly having to retry them over and over. That is very nice. Okay. 
Uh, can we go over to the side of the house? Is there any evidence over here? We didn't check this out. Oh. Oh, 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 it's like the slow down bird. I was like, um, is there a demon in this house? What is that sound? Okay, and there's nothing here, right? Hmm. Can we take a look at the garden? Because it did say examine, it seems right? That the garden was well maintained. Okay. All right, so what do we have here? So these are all of the, I guess, just general clues that we have. Hmm. So we still need to investigate more. So these are conversation points that we can bring up now with people. Tobacco pouch, outline in the dust, and the well-kept garden. Okay, I just want to do a little cursory look around here, see if there's anything behind the cabin, maybe. No, just a window looking in. Okay. All right, let's go talk with Lestrade and see if there's anything that we can talk about the investigation. Any clues well, that he's he can fill us in on. What do you think? I think that we are lucky. Oh. And why is that? Well, I because think the murderer is going to come to back. Oof. You've lost me. It they didn't get what they want. that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. Exactly why you what mentioned that they, they didn't have the right tool. Why return tonight? Yeah. When they will be better prepared. Aha! An ambush! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where mm -hmm. we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long oh, night but ahead of no, us. No, no, I, I, want, I want to talk to the wife again about the clues. Okay, okay, good. All right. I was like, there's, there's still so much. Can I talk with you about anything? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Policeman? All right, so can we talk to you about the, the evidence that we found? Okay, so was Peter a smoker? Is this your husband's tobacco? Pack? I'm going to say yes. It seems I'm very sure obvious. It might be. But he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, is there a gardener, or is that your duty? The like, do you do you take on the garden yourself? Well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Oh, that is a lot of work. But my husband. Oh, your husband was himself. the 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 green thumb. Interesting. Um, what about the box? Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely large. Yeah. In the he kept his papers there. It should be somewhere hmm. in his cabin. But it's missing. Thank you, madam. Hmm. Okay. So, his personal papers are were in the box. There wasn't like a... Well, maybe there is something valuable in there, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything around here either. Anything on this side of the garden? We didn't really take a look over here. Yeah, just well-kept garden, well-kept garden. Hmm. Yeah, evidence missing. I'm assuming once we get someone to come here again, maybe we can have them compare their boots. But as of right now, it doesn't match their shoes. We need to find a good place for an ambush. Oh, oh so that's what we're doing. We're, we're finding we're finding a spot to hide out. So I'm assuming that's going to be right here, right? This looks like the perfect hiding place. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's find out who's going to come back. Ooh, love a good stakeout. I just wish uh, Holmes and Watson were here. You know, Lestrade's okay, but you know, no, he's not our boy. Okay. Shh. Someone's Did come back. That? Yep. Look at these goofballs. Ooh. All right. Oh, it looks like maybe like a this teenager. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. This is very Wait. interesting. Hold it right there. Because whoever this is doesn't look strong enough to have impaled him. Yeah. All right, my fine fellow. Who they don't are you look especially you strong. Your detectives, I suppose. 
Captain. Yes. Can you imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey? I assure you I'm innocent. Oh, yeah? Then, um, <laughs> what brings you what here? What are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. Oh, wow, his hands we are real rough. Waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... Yeah. I didn't... Those are the initials on the you book. You came here yesterday. No, but... But I... Yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... Mm. I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Okay. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the Interesting. judge. Interesting. What? But you can't. I'm not... It's a terrible mm. mistake. Enough. Furious. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. All evidence points to him but being here at the moment of, of the crime. Events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same. I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. Oh, well, thanks, you buddy. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him Oh, we get to question him now. Morning. Okay. So maybe we can suss out why he did it. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of evidence. And we can now go to Scotland Yard. We can also go back to Woodman's Lee. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so I wonder if there'll be any other evidence once we get there. Because I want to talk to the wife and see if she knew the guy. I'm assuming we can go get his boot, right? All right, let's have a little quick chat with you. Who could do such a thing? My poor hmm. husband. Interesting, but it's because we don't have a new conversation point... We can't talk with her yet. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm assuming we will get his boots to compare against those. Is there anything else in here? Oh. Well, thankfully, they at least took the body. Don't leave that thing pinned up. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Right, right. The one that sailed out of Dundee. Okay. So, I guess... Uh, how do we... Ah, square. Okay, so let's go to Scotland Yard, I guess, and see if we can't give him a little questioning. Yeah, but that, the problem is there's no definitive evidence that he murdered him. Only that he was at the scene of the crime before the door was locked. Because uh, the notebook, obviously, of his fell into the blood. But we don't know if he just came across the body... And realized that he left his notebook there and went back for it. So there is a possibility he didn't commit the crime. Oh. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can Hello. I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodland yes. Lee last night. Ah, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so let's go uh, have a little chat. How's it going? Mr. Holmes? Uh, Mr. Policeman? So, this is the morgue? Oh, I wonder, can we, can we examine the body here? No, but I'm assuming at some point we will get to do that. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is neat. I, I wonder, okay, so I'm assuming this is going to be a location we're going to come back to. For some reason, I remember... I definitely remember finding Locked. something there. Okay. Ah, evidence room, right? No, he's in there. Mr. Holmes? So, this is our guy, right? Do we have any... This is Inspector Locked. Lestrade? I want to take a look at the evidence. Staff room. Like, did he have anything on him? I want to, I want to grab his boot. Ah. There we are. Okay, so this is... I'm assuming our person's then named Nelligan, These right? the suspect's belongings. Yeah. Okay. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin With the floor. weird notations and abbreviations. These abbreviations mean something. Yeah. But what? I wonder if that's why he wanted the papers, because they helped decode this, maybe? I don't know. All right. Ooh, what do we got here? There's an inscription here. And partner, 1883. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. From R. Dawson. From R. Dawson. 
to my, to my friend, friend and partner. I've yeah. Seen his name before. Perhaps my oh, the okay, okay. So we got something to look at at home then. A pocket knife. It was used to yeah. force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. And we have a monogrammed handkerchief. handkerchief. With the initials J A. Yeah, that's that's kind of damning. Okay. So now we can take a look at what else we have in our... Investigate the murder. So that's just general. The investigate the murder is our overall task. We also have to investigate or in, in, in interrogate the suspect. Yeah, these areas are really cool. So, ooh, do we want to do that before we interrogate him, though? Ooh, I'm kind of tempted. Yeah, why don't we do it? Why don't we do it? Why don't we go investigate the the name on the ring before we talk to him? Because it seems like the more evidence we have before talking to people, the better. Because then we can catch them in lies. I'm assuming. Okay, so his archives. So that's over here, right? Aha! Search for Dawson, 1883. Okay, a heavy gold ring with the inscription from R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. Interesting. So... History? No. Medicine? Probably not. Botany? Arts and Architecture. Hmm, Institute of that British Architects? That is not the one I need. Interesting. Early relay? That is not the one I need. Hmm. Oh, okay. So here's newspapers. This might be more helpful. Ah, the Bankruptcy Act of 1883. That is not the one I need. Maybe not. Oh, Dawson and Nelligan. Aha! There we go. Dawson and Nelligan Investment Fund. Bankrupt. Nelligan missing. Okay. A regional banking institution based in Cornwall has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and has accordingly been assigned to liquidation. Okay, and it was the 23rd largest bank in Britain, and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. The liquidation of the company uh, of company is a pure catastrophe many cor for, for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelligan, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was once seen aboard his, he was last seen aboard his yacht preparing for departure to Norway. Nelligan is wanted by both uh, both by the police and his creditors. Yeah, it is. There we go. Now this I is begin very to valuable. That young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what yeah. he did with the murder. It is hey, Watson. To ask him. Interesting. Okay, cool. And now we have. But interesting that there are going to be three other people on this case. Okay. All right. So, oh, hey, buddy. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. You're an angel, Toby. Absolute angel. Can we talk to Watson about this? Good gracious, you caught someone. At least now you have a suspect. Oh, interesting. So his, his dialogue does change based on the case. Okay. Uh, what happens if we go outside? It's just, yeah, go straight to Scotland Yard. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. So we got a connection. Either he is the son of the banker or he is the banker. Who disappeared I mean he's a young man but it's it's hard to tell you know who who exactly he might be all right well let's have a little chat with him hey how you doing okay oh we can just jump right to it all right well ooh, why don't we ask him about the notebook first does this notebook belong to you yes Mm -hmm. Where did you find it? I did not know. Uh, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. Oh. What do these abbreviations mean? Did you? You thought you lost no, it at the hotel. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only Wait. make things worse. Hmm. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Yeah. Why, why are you so worried about us finding out the, the meaning of the inscription? Okay, well, what about the sea knife? The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan... Did Mr. Carey try hmm. to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Again, still no evidence that he did. Okay, well, let's ask about, I guess, the gold ring? The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. 
It has always belonged always to Always belonged to you? Hmm. Okay. So the ring's engraving, I'm assuming, is the thing we want to call him on, right? Right. Like, that seems like the obvious thing. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You were okay. a child then. Yeah. Hardly in any so he's the son of the banker who disappeared. From a partner. Yeah. Okay, so let's ask him about Dawson and Nelligan. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. Hmm. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half yeah, the families of Cornwall. Yeah, he just up and Cornwall, vanished. Whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but... It was still old Man, enough to feel that's rough that he just left you with that. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. Oh. He set sail for Hammerfest Wait, in Norway. Hammerfest? In small yacht, that's the same location that was issued. He Black left Peter my was wailing in. He was taking. No word was ever oh. heard from him again. We believed that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything Interesting. So maybe... Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. The son last, thinks that Black Peter progress. found the valuables that his father brought with him. Okay, well, let's investigate him. All right, what do we got here? We have... Shabby cap. Uh, anything on the eyes. Terrible mustache. Patch. What do we got over here? Thin neck. Are they saying he's like poor? Yeah, expensive fabric, but it's been patched up. Uh, what do we got here? Elaborate button. So yeah, this was a beautiful coat at some point. What do we got here? Short sleeves. So this is obviously from when he was younger. Oh, calluses. So he's been doing hard labor. Scars. Okay. So he's been living a hard life since he was a a kid. All right, so the ring's owner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? Well, I mean, it's his father. The ring is mine. Well, okay. Yeah. The ring's engraving definitely seems... <laughs> uh, oh, father's jacket. Is that... Hold on. So let's take a look at the evidence. What does this say? John Nelligan is wearing an expensive but worn out and ill-fitting jacket that had previously belonged to someone else. Most likely is... Oh, so is this the hint then? Okay. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, so then father's jacket. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but... but I mean, the know? engraving is is, is a the dead giveaway. The jacket wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of I would have guessed that it was his, but when he was younger. You do not seem to me to be a rich I guess his, his father was just a slighter man than he was. the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Yes. Most probably your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family. See, I would have made the if I were designing boy, this, I would make the jacket a little bit too big. Like this kid hasn't grown into it yet. Fish. You cut your hands often while working. Mm -hmm. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all <laughs> happened exactly as you said. Holmes is pretty good. Okay. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan mm. and Peter Carey were both at That the seems like too Norway. large a coincidence, a right? Between Peter Carey and Joshua Yeah, Nelligan's there's something between the two of them. Very, very interesting. Okay, so what do we have in the way of our clues? No gardener. That seems like a hmm, missing tin box. I was wondering maybe he buried the box. Swift actions. What is this? Peter Carrier was armed with his knife, but he did not have time to use it. The murderer acted quickly and instinctively. Hmm. Perry, uh, Peter Carrier is a non-smoker. Break-in attempts and... So, what do we want to pair? Swift actions, break-in attempts, no gardener, missing tin box, and notebook? I guess we can just do this, right? Yeah, none of these match the missing tin box yet. Yeah, these are all uh, a, a non-starter. Hmm. Interesting. None of these seem to match with this either. Oh, it does. What is this? Hold on. Retrieving the notebook. The break-in attempts were made in order to retrieve... Oh, oh, I see. Not the notebook from the tin box, but the notebook that Nelligan was carrying. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes. 
Well, it doesn't prove the guilt, it proves that they were there. Which are different. Um, hmm. Judith Carey says her husband took care of the garden himself. That does not seem feasible. She might be hiding something. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? This is... Uh, experiment required. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. That is a hell of a thing I that they did. A reconstruction. I'm sure that oh Watson no, what are you going to have poor oblige? Watson do? Okay. So we can also, what, 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 what was the hint there? It was prepare for harpoon throw. Oh God. Oh, poor Watson. And what do we have here? So this is our profile of Nelligan. Gotcha. Okay. So then, I want to go back to the deductions. What was that? Um, here we are. Okay. So, what else have we got? He's a non-smoker and no gardener. Doesn't seem like that matches. None of this seems to make any sense with the non-smoker thing. Yeah, that doesn't match anything. That doesn't match anything. No gardener and pin to the wall. Okay, so none of these clues react with each other yet. Okay, cool. So, interesting. So there are at least three other people we're going to meet in this case, potentially. I'm not sure if all of them are guaranteed. Like, can we solve it without meeting them all? Well, either way, let's go, let's go talk with Watson. Let's figure out what, what's going on with this harpoon throwing. 